Hey guys, BuffQ here again. Hope you're all doing well as always. Tonight I'm bringing you a review of the two North American Arms Guardians. The top one is in 380. The bottom one is in 32 ACP. Just going to give you a quick idea of my impressions of these two in terms of a side-by-side. -side. So if you're familiar with the channel, you already probably know which one I prefer and which one I don't care for much at all. But since I've got both of these firearms, I thought I'd give you a quick side-by-side. -side. So, we'll get our camera set up here, and we'll get started. Again, like I said, if you're familiar with the channel, you probably already know which of these two I, I prefer and which one I don't care for much at all. It's purely based off of weight. Guys, it's, it's nothing against um, either of these. They're both... Uh, very well-built firearms. I think they're very well engineered. Just one of them uh... ah, Well, <laughs> I'll quit talking. Let's just start shooting here and I'll, I'll tell you what I think Okay, that's the 380. Now we'll move on to the 32. Okay, there we are. Not sure how well you can see the pattern downrange. <clears throat> but to give you an idea, there we are. If you look at the, uh, the pattern there, guys, the one you see that uh, is clearly a flyer, the one that's uh, right around 12 o'clock, Okay, that was the first shot out of the 32, all right? And, and not really surprising that uh, that one was a little bit high for me because after shooting the 380, um, you know, you're expecting to, to know where that, um, what that recoil is gonna feel like in hand and then <laughs> a little bit of, um, uh, I guess you'd say user error, definitely some some more practice time needs to be had on my end. But but that's a good representation of kind of what I've noticed between these two guns. You can you can sort of get to the point where you can shoot each one of them pretty well, um, getting an idea of where the trigger break is and, um, you know, as far as staging and things like that. But when you switch from one to the other, I mean, obviously you're switching from one caliber to another, but... For me, it's not a real smooth transition, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So at any rate, I, I like both of these firearms okay. 
Um, I really prefer the 32 over the 380 because just for me, this one's just a little bit too uh, clunky, I guess you'd say. They may not look that difference in, different in size just lying here, but um, there's a pretty, pretty noticeable difference in terms of dimension between these two. If I turn them like that, you can see better. Yeah, it may not look like much sitting there, but believe me, when you're trying to uh, carry one of these, you notice a big difference um, in dimension and in weight. Um, 32 is obviously a lot lighter. So just kind of a quick uh, video for you guys showing kind of my thoughts between these two firearms. Again, I, I caught a lot of heat for, for kind of bashing the 380. Guys, I'm not saying it's not a great firearm. I, I think it's a wonderful firearm. I think it's very well made. Uh, and I think it's extremely reliable. I'm just simply saying that between the two, I would much rather carry the 32. Um, I don't mind stepping down in stopping power if it means this is something I will actually carry versus this is something I'm really not going to be too excited to carry. That, that's all I'm saying, guys. So hope you found it interesting. Kind of a short little video. Anyway, we'll see you next time.